here with Brian Sonicson in the Design Center for Excellence. How's it going, Brian? Pretty good. We just got back from China on our last trip to see the production line, and they had a few samples ready for us off the production tooling. We're pretty about excited about them and want to show you how this thing works. Empty right now. I'm going to go ahead and fill it up. Take the lid off. Usually at a bar or brewery, they're going to use a fill tube. This is a very acceptable way to put beer in your U keg. I want to show you how the cyclic glass works as you fill it. So open the tap, start filling. What kind of beer is that? This is a Kolsch from Migration Brewery here in Portland. Nice. Really good brewery. So you shut it off, full of beer, slide it off, take the dip tube off with it, and then the bartender will wipe that and keep that clean. All right, so you got a full keg. Your keg is good to go. Next step, take your lid, put a CO2 cartridge in. We have a nice Whippet brand. It's a standard 8 gram CO2 cartridge. It goes in there, and you just screw it on. Piece of cake. You always make sure your regulator's off to start with. And we have a little too much in. Make sure your tap's closed and locked. So we'll do a little wiping. That'll happen if they overfill with a little foam. It happens with any stainless growler. That's cap on foam. Cap on foam. This way you know that there's no air on your beer. You have the foam is mostly carbon dioxide. Watch the gauge. Interrupt some pressure. We'll go to 5 PSI. All right, I'm ready to pour some beer. Unlock it and pour. That's a nice pour. Oh yeah, it's gonna taste even better. Fresh, cold, and carbonated. Lock your tap, good to go. Take a drink. Good stuff.